Hey, what's going on? I'm Tim, aka Bibulous Fantasy, and I work in esports and IT. I don't know, I have a lot of jobs. I've done like everything. But right now, esports and IT, that's about it. Um, I was first introduced to the Soul Calibur games when I was at my cousin's house and they were like, they had the, like the new edition of Game Pro and it had like Soul Blade or Soul Edge, depending on, I forget, one of the names was console, one of them was arcade. But they were hyping that game up from then and I started playing that in arcade and I just fell in love with it, man. And Soul Calibur came out, I started playing that. I, had, I played my first tournament in Soul Calibur. And I don't know, ever, ever since I found the competitive community, it, I haven't turned back. What's with the top hat? Okay, I've always worn different hats. Actually, I'm, I'm, I don't have a top hat on tonight because I was planning to go clubbing. I wasn't planning to go to events. No, actually, I've always liked hats. And no, it's not because I'm bald. See, not bald, not bald. Most women at bars think I wear hats because I'm going bald and I want to hide it. I'm not. The full head of hair, I just like hats, all right? Okay, there's two things that make bar battles different from other tournaments. A, it's at a bar. You could buy liquor at the tournament. That is the greatest thing ever. Ever, ever. Unfortunately, there's no space. So it, it feels like Chinatown Fair back in the day when it was all cramped and I was playing Soul Calibur 2 on like a Friday night or some shit. And I, I used to go up to CF a lot back in the day and that place would be like a cramped closet with a whole bunch of sweaty dudes. And yeah, but it was fun times. Yeah, I like bar battles. There should definitely be more events like this because events plus liquor equal awesome. I like awesome. Yes, I am the Soul Calibur commentator for MLG. The involvement came about from, I'm a Soul Calibur player. I'm a pretty good commentator. Actually, I'm a really good commentator. And I've been a Soul Calibur player forever. Like I was one of the few guys that for the past like decade and change, I go to most of the majors and even a lot of them, when they didn't, like I showed up to a bunch of final rounds when they didn't even have Soul Calibur. Because I like the community, I like the events, it's fun times. Like I'll just go to a final round to watch the Tekken event. Because that shit is entertaining, man. It's fun times and it's different like being at the event than watching the stream, you don't get the same kind of feel. Same thing with Evo. Like you people that haven't seen Evo, you need to go there and see it live because it is what it is, man. It's something else. Just the energy in that room is just, you don't feel that over the stream. You just don't. And, but no, how did I get in with MLG? I got in with MLG because I know everyone. Like, it was funny, I actually had a conversation with Art before I got the job. He was like, yeah, I really want to put you in there. I hope, like, everybody, like, I hope I can get you in there because you're my boy and whatnot. And then later that day, he was like, so, aside from one person, everyone recommended you. That's how I got the job. Community events and MLG are different things, man. Like MLG is like Evo scale. Like even like to a degree bigger than Evo in the sense of, I bet you they have a bigger venue. Like I bet Anaheim was bigger, had a bigger venue than Evo. Not to say the events are comparable because it's different things. Like Evo, everything is geared around a center stage. MLG, it's like split between three different things. And it, it just makes for a different viewer experience. Like even before I went to MLG, I had, even before I worked for MLG, I had spectated EVO and MLG championships last year. And it, it's just a different beast, man. I, I don't know, it's all fun. I have fun at all events. Like I went to, believe it or not, I'm actually paid to commentate both sides of the field. And before I was, I did it without getting paid. Yes, I'm going to EVO. What I'm looking forward to the most, honestly, I want to do commentary at EVO. I wanted to do commentary for EVO since like probably before even Daigo Perry Justin. Like ever since I saw those first DVDs, man, I was like, wow, that's gotta be the coolest job ever. Besides actually being there and playing on the stage. I wanna like talk to people. I, I wanna like explain to the people that don't know what's going on why what they just saw was amazing. And for me, honestly, it's the coolest thing ever. I can't wait to do commentary on the Evo stage. It's gonna be godlike. It's just been too much fun, man. Everybody's competing and that causes all sorts of nonsense drama. And drama's entertaining, let's face it. I mean, no one likes to be a part of the drama, but it's pretty fucking entertaining. Should I not say that stuff? No, it's fine, it's perfectly fine. Okay. 
fuck yeah. <laughs>